What's up everybody? Well, I got another video for you guys with my main computer here and this time there's nothing very wrong with it. It's just I discovered that since I have the new dark X570 ROG Strix motherboard, I can do a dynamic overclock. So I've been messing around with that and then I learned that those fans do not spin enough. That radiator is obviously more than thick enough because I saw people doing, you know, or getting away with just all in ones and stuff and there's no way a 420 millimeter radiator, the best one that exists, can't handle what people are doing so anyway i got it like 4.5 gigahertz right now just so it doesn't like get past 80 but i know we can do better than that i want to get at least 4.6 4.650 something like that on all my cores preferably 4.7 now let's zoom in we get that one though anyway though so we're gonna replace these arctic fans and it's not like they're bad they're great fans it's just not for what i'm doing and plus they have a kind of annoying hum to them that i don't like since these ones are three pin they're maxed out i didn't put a fan controller or anything on it so they're essentially spinning all the time max speed and that can get annoying so anyway, enough blabbering about. Why don't I show you guys what fans I decided to go with? So I decided, what the hell? Why don't we get some of these Noctua NFA14 Industrial PPC 3000 PWM fans? Now, we're not going to sit here and run this at 3000 RPM all the time. That would be absurd. But I wouldn't mind going up to like 2000, 2100. It'd still be pretty loud, but I can handle it. It's already loud as it is. So why don't we look at what we got in this box? All right, let's have a look look at what's in the box. Man, that's actually really well packaged. I feel like I'm unboxing like a, an iPad or something. All right, and it comes with some, uh, what do they call them in the box down there? Some of those uh, fan screws. We're not gonna be using those though. We've gotta use a very specific kind. So hold on just one second. Let's take a quicker look at the fan now. The thickness. Now, I also don't like these brown uh, little anti-vibration fans or little mounting things, so I bought some to uh, fix that. All knock to it. And then you've got a really nice high quality cable. It's not even freaking braided. I think this is, yeah, this is like rubber. This is like beyond braided. Cool though. Anyway, along with these badass fans, I got two more of them. I also, as I mentioned, I don't like those uh, vibration pads, the brown ones, so I bought two boxes of these uh, black ones. So that'll be completely black just to match the whole pretty much black and gunmetal gray uh, color scheme we got going here. And then power all of them. I thought ahead and thought, okay, these fans can spin really fast. I guarantee you can't day just day blah, daisy chain three of them on one uh, four pin motherboard connector. So I got myself one of, oh, wait, that's not what I wanted. Haha, <laughs> that was just the other box. This is what we wanted. An NAFC1 fan controller. Cracked my freaking finger now. All to hell. Anyway, though, so you got a nice little dear customer, thank you for choosing kind of letter. A thing explaining what you get in the case and whatnot. <laughs> And here it is. It's just this tiny little thing. I'll probably just have it free float around or maybe get some uh, double-sided tape or something if they don't, you know, include something. What else do we get in this box? All right. Well, you've got your power source, which is SATA. Right there, you can see that. Nope. Oh. We're dropping stuff. Then we got ourselves a fan extension cable right there. And then here's your three fan splitter, which just connects right in there. So yeah, should have no problem reaching the uh, CPU little fan readout thing on the motherboard. Man, that sucks. I hate when your fingernails get messed up like that. Anyway, now, why don't we get those fans out so we can put these new fans in. Well, all right, we got everything all set up. We got this guy all put together, all ready to go. Don't know if I'll, I'll probably need the extension cable after all, so I'll hook that up. But beyond that, we also got all of our little black vibration pads hooked up. So now that looks sleek, excellent. So now let's get this glass and the side panel off so I can hook all this on up and we can see how it runs. All right. Had to go freehand with the camera for a second but we got our little little dongle here all connected we got the other part connected to my motherboard for rpms we've got all of our fans connected unless one fell out which i don't think so i think all of them are good yep all of them look like they're into me well if one doesn't work we'll know but i'm not going to bother making that all nice yet until we know for a fact it works but now let's go turn the computer on and see what's what well all right let's see if she works oh yes they definitely work all right am i going to get a screen though okay there we 
go. I was gonna say CPU fan error. So it doesn't see that as a CPU fan? Well, that's interesting. Well, I'm gonna investigate that real quick, and then we'll go look at temp. Well, all right. We're idling at the desktop right now. It's got stuff going on in the background, though, so this is not an exact idle, but it'll probably idle down at, like, 47 to 35 once it's done doing its stupid updates and stuff in the background. But I'm gonna let it get done with that, and then I'm gonna run a Cinebench, and we'll see what kind of temps we get. Well, we just got done running Cinebench R23 for about 15, 20 minutes. I wasn't keeping super track, but we only got up to 73 now instead of 83, so we dropped 10C with these fans. So maybe I can hit my 4.7 for at least 4.6 without it overheating. So I'm gonna go fiddle around with that, and we'll go and see what kind of temps we get after I pump up the gigahertz. Well, we just got done running the benchmark. Only ran it a couple of times, because I don't know if it's stable or not yet. Didn't really want to find out. Yep, oh, focusing failed. And now at least it's idling better at like 37 degrees here instead of 60 like it was before while we were installing Windows updates in the background. And we maxed out at 80.9, so basically 81 degrees. So that's pretty good. We were getting up to uh, 100 and we were like throttling at these speeds before. This is like 1.3 volts or something like that. Couldn't even do that before with the old fans. They didn't spin fast enough. So now just for fun, I don't know if this is stable so it might blue screen on us, but I want to show you how loud it gets. It's only going to get this loud when I like edit videos and stuff probably. Pretty loud. But hey, at least it got through the test again. Got, let's see what we got for a score. Just for fun before we wrap this up. 29,676. I think my top score before was 28,000 something. So we definitely pumped up our score quite a bit. So long as it's stable, that'll cut down on my encoding times for videos for you guys. Anyway though, I think it's time we wrap this up. Well, that is a wrap for this video. The fans definitely get loud when you encode stuff, but right now that's not so bad at all. And it doesn't have that, annoy that annoying whirling noise that the Arctix had. Yeah, I think it's because they just don't have any vibration. They're cheap. They're good fans, but they're not going to be quite as noise friendly as like a Noctua would or like a Be Quiet fan would or anything of the like more expensive fans. I mean, I think I got a five pack of those for like six bucks more than one of these. These were like $120 for all three of those fucking fans. They were like $30 a piece. That's pretty crazy. And then another 20 bucks for the little adapter and then 16 bucks for the, uh, I had to get two packs of the ones because they only had 16 in one. That's not enough to do three fans. Go front and back. Anyway though, I hope you guys enjoyed this short little fun video of me upgrading this computer again and now I think it's pretty close to being done at least for now until AM5 comes out and Intel's next stuff comes out then I'll probably upgrade all over again and by then it'll probably be time to drain the loop and then I want to add the GPU into the loop and I want to do that with a 4090 so that's when we'll do all that at the very earliest anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and until the next one peace out guys